Geometry Wars is a series that has a special place in my heart, and there's something that can be said about the simplicity that is in the gameplay. But Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions from Lucid Games adds a lot of dimensions, ironically, to the formula. On top of your classic modes of Deadline, Evolve, and Pacifism is an Adventure Mode in Dimensions, and the Adventure Mode is kind of a progressive system in which players are going to take on 50 levels against bosses and different timed objectives and different scoring goals where you can earn one to three stars. Those stars are used to buy drones and a super ability. The drones can do things like attract the geoms to which give you more multiplier or maybe give you more firepower with an attack drone. The drones also have upgradable super abilities which do things like laying out mines or firing homing missiles. You're going to want to pick a combination of the two depending on the level presented before you to kind of maximize your score. So let's talk about those levels. The levels themselves are a bunch of weird different shapes now in three dimensions, hence the title Geometry War Three's Dimensions. Now you'll see shapes like spheres and cubes and even peanut shaped uh, objects in which you'll be kind of sucked to gravity wise and you'll be warping around it, taking out the enemies and stuff. It's a bit disorienting, uh, and it works okay, but I think it gets a little bit too far away from the typical Geometry Wars formula, that simplicity that made these games so addictive. And the levels themselves aren't the only changes uh, to the game. There's new enemy types, there's new obstacles, and there's even like super abilities that you can get mid-level to kind of change things up. All while you're playing against scoring goals for each level. I found them a little bit difficult. Uh, you can obviously see that Lucid Games wants you to go back and replay the levels once you've actually upgraded the drones and stuff. Uh, but it's fun. It's decent. Uh, the co-op mode, we really like the co-op mode. It, it's up to four players and it's ten levels into the fifty, but these are designed specifically for co-op. Uh, again, you're gonna have scoring goals, you're gonna have to reach um, and there's no drones or those other kind of abilities within these. Instead, you're presented with different shaped levels, but nothing three-dimensional. You're on that 2D plane again, and it brings a little bit of that simplicity back, uh, which adds to the chaos. You can kind of see everything coming at you instead of guessing what's around the level and stuff like that. So uh, we really like that. There were strategy elements we needed to do in co-op. We, we divided and conquered. We picked who got the upgrades. Um, and, and there was a tense moments, and there was yell out loud kind of things happening as we were getting closer and closer to score goals. Uh, it was a lot of fun. There's a good variety of uh, the missions to play. It's not just your straight up evolve or pacifism and stuff like that. Though those do make an appearance in the co-op mode. Um, overall, it's a lot of fun. You can get to the boss in a single sitting. The boss battle is pretty tough. There's really no room for error. You have to be almost perfect in it. To complete it, but it's it's a satisfying mood overall, and a nice addition to the series. Uh, though we would have liked to see more than just ten levels there. If competitive is your thing, Geometry Wars Three Dimensions also offers an online competitive mode for four players. But again, we stuck with what we know and love. Overall, I think Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions is a solid entrance to the series. It's a great value for $15. There's a lot of content here. But I just don't enjoy the new stuff as much as the straight up evolved or deadline modes competing for high scores. I, I just want to play that sim simple, fun, and addicting, replayable kind of stuff that we've seen from Geometry Wars in the past. The new graphics and effects are, are, are nice, but I actually, on the PC, I turned down the detail because it was too much. It was too distracting. I mean, there's a pattern you get into, a um, zone you get into when you're playing Geometry Wars. Uh, you know exactly what you want to do, and all those distractions and on-screen effects can, can really be a hindrance to that. Uh, overall, like I said, great great value for your dollar. The co-op mode's a lot of fun, um, but you can spend most of your time in what we played before in Geometry Wars 1 and 2, and even Galaxies.